What's good, guys? Time for a deal short. As you know, a lot of you guys know to follow me. I'm in Central Florida. Uh, I moved here about four years ago from California. And when I got here four years ago, I noticed that the housing prices were pretty high. And I have family who've been here for 20 years plus, and they're like, yeah, man, this is a spike. It just began. Everyone's moving down. This was, you know, this is around the pandemic. So people were coming down here, bringing California money, New York, New York money, whatever. They were buying houses in cash. They were, you know, offering above um, the ask. I mean, it was like bidding wars. It was crazy, right? So with all that going on, here we are four years later. The median cost of a home in Florida is right around four hundred thousand. It's a little, it's real close to the national median, but the average or median income, individual income in Florida, is right around fifty thousand dollars a year, and that hasn't changed. That hasn't really changed to match the housing costs, and that goes for houses, townhomes, uh, condos, and even like the rental market kind of got crazy for a minute, but that's starting to come back down. Now, I would say to my people way back then, I'm like, hey, man, this market is overpriced. I'm not a real estate person. I'm not in that world, but I'm just looking at what it costs to buy versus how much people are making. I, I don't know how long this is going to last, you know, and the whole market was being pushed by people coming into Florida from other places. So now we're at a point where we just had two major hurricanes within two weeks talking about hurricane Milton and Helene. A lot of damage was done going all the way back to 1992. Florida's had an issue with insurance companies. It's extremely expensive to insure your home here in Florida auto too. Um, but we're talking about homes right now. So there's a lot going on. And I've been saying to my people, I'm like, man, I don't know what's going to happen, but something's going to give. This can't continue. This this math doesn't math. And here we are. It looks like it's going to be the insurance industry that's going to start this correction in Florida. At least that's what I think. Again, I'm no real estate person. I'm just an average guy like you. And I'm just looking at what's going on. I'm in the trenches. I'm outside. I know what people are earning. I know what type of people are here. The difference between a place like Florida and California in California, when people go to California, they're getting paid a lot. They're going to paid a lot more money, but things are way more expensive here. The market is getting real close to California numbers, but people aren't making that kind of money. People aren't making California money. That's not going to work. You don't have to have a bunch of college education, a bunch of letters, you know, behind your name to be able to figure that part out. Right? So, I just wanted to come on, guys, and I want to continue to show you guys that things are definitely going to change here in Florida. I believe the correction has begun, and it's starting with condo owners. The condo market has been real shaky here for a while, for about a year or so, maybe two years, and they're doing their best. The condo owners are doing their best to hold on to what they have, but <clears throat> with the rise in insurance with the rise in their association fees and stuff like that, they're having a tough time. And Florida has mandated um, a lot of new laws uh, with respect to condos, and this is definitely going to affect the market. So we're going to watch a quick clip from CBS News Miami that's addressing this issue. Um, check this out, guys. Now at 11, condo owners on the brink of losing their homes voiced their frustrations over rising property prices and insurance costs. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is in Hialeah, where dozens lined up to vent, and local lawmakers reacted. In Spanish, this middle-class condo owner says, we believe we can help you. The state, county, and city of Hialeah leaders listening covet the gripes crushing Alberto Aleman's budget. From one month to another, our charges went up 50 plus percent in just a matter of a month. Rising property values and soaring insurance rates push some to the brink of canceled policies, while homeowners associations hardly protect every condo owner feeling squeezed. Condo members can't take any more. Miami-Dade County Commissioner Rene Garcia, State Senator Ileana Garcia, and Hialeah's Mayor Esteban Bovo see room for more accountability. 
we were passing laws that we weren't supervising and, and enforcing. And that really pissed me off. And that's the reason why I put the town hall together. They want to. So Ileana Garcia, like she's a staple in politics in uh, in Miami. I, I lived there for a while, once upon a time, and I remember hearing her name. And, um, and she's a Republican. And you heard what she said. We we put these laws uh, out there with no real oversight. We didn't follow up or whatever. Right. She's just like we put it out there and look what happened. Right. She's Republican and she's talking about the Republican administration. And. You know. We're going to just give you guys the power and we're going to trust that you're going to do the right thing. And it doesn't look like they're doing the right thing. So people are now trying to do whatever they can to keep their homes. You heard the one guy, he was like, look, you know, it's like my, um, my association fees have increased 50%, you know, over 30 days. Imagine that. How can you budget when you don't know what your insurance is going to be, you know, month to month, year to year, and you don't know what your association is going to be. Right. And I don't think they've even begun to talk about the assessments, but let's continue. Ideas to improve regulation of insurance rate hikes and corruption on HOA boards, crippling maintenance on some properties. My ask is bring it back to the local levels. Let us come up with a local regulatory scheme that we can help our, our condo unit owners. This comes on the heel of a USB study showing Miami's condo market most at risk for a bubble burst. The study's reasons for more condos hitting the market include the Champlain Tower South collapse in Surfside, along with insurance costs and lower mortgage rates. It just raises so many eyebrows and a lot of us, the owners, we just got sick and we said, we have to investigate this. We have to take this into our own hands because this can't be. Determined to end troubling condo trends, this crowd unloaded their biggest concerns, hoping it carries weight with Florida's legislature. State Senator Ileana Garcia says what's happening here is not lost on Governor Ron DeSantis. And when the legislature meets again next month, she hopes to see action on issues affecting condo owners, leaving thousands at risk. In Hialeah, Larry Seaver, CBS News, Miami. Shout out to CBS News. So they're talking about the Miami market. They're talking about condominium owners, the, the people who were bought into these condos, and their association hasn't done what they were supposed to do. And these these buildings are literally falling apart. They talked about the building that fell down in Surfside, but that was in, you know, again, that was like North Miami Beach. And these laws came out that affected all these condo owners. And so what they're dealing with is assessments, which is, you know, the, the state has mandated that they have to do these inspections and go through and do these fixes. And they also mandated that a, a certain percentage of their reserves must be liquid, um, you know, for the associations, which means, you know, the association is tasked to, we got to get these inspections done. We got to pay for that. Once we find out what's wrong with the uh, with the buildings, we got to fix those. So that has to be paid. They split that up amongst all the people who own in the building and everyone gets to pay a portion of that bill. In Miami, some of the associations are in the six figures. Think about that. In the six figures. Again, people in Miami aren't making more money today than they were making four years ago. They're still making about individual about 50 grand like i said the average i think the median household income in florida is like 60,000 something like that right 60 65,000 but their property values have gone up and when that goes up all the associated expenses go up and then the storms come they didn't even talk about the storms now i know that there's uh, one of the fixes out there is that every homeowner is going to be mandated to pay for flood insurance whether they need it or not can you imagine you're a condo owner. You're on the 38th floor. Your association has gone up, you know, let's say 60% over a year or something like that. Like your association has gone up. You're, you're barely able to pay for your uh, wind damage insurance that you're paying for, whatever you're paying for to, to maintain that mortgage. You can barely hold on to that. Yeah, you got your mortgage at 2 or 3%. But the condo is, you know, was you bought it for maybe three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars, and then the state is going to say we're going to mandate that you pay for flood insurance and you live on the thirty eighth floor. That could be enough to break the camel's back, and the association keeps going up and up and up, and then on top of all that, you get hit with that assessment. So right now, there are so many people trying to get out of their condos, trying to sell their condos. 
Um, there are people like investors who bought a lot of uh, condos down here, the Airbnb people. They're trying to get out of those things. Um, it's a crazy time right now for the condo market. Now, will the politicians be able to fix this? No, they're too far behind the power curve. If they were going to be serious about this, they would have made some changes and been in involved in fixing this problem, you know, three, four years ago. They're too far behind the curve. And again, we're just talking about condo owners. We haven't gotten into the townhomes. We haven't gotten into the, the residential houses, right? It's a problem down here. It's a problem. So I don't know how long <laughs> that median price of 400000 or so is going to last when all these folks are like, you know what? This is too much to bear. We're going to have to get out of these houses. Right. So now you got more and more inventory and the buyers are sitting back waiting because they all see the same thing. Like, yeah, these prices are going to drop. I'm going to wait. They're just going to wait. The market here in Florida, the real estate market here has begun the correction. I'm not saying it's going to be a crash and this pandemonium and the sky is falling. I'm not saying that, but these these prices are falling. And a lot of people who are homeowners are willing to take a loss just to get out of this market. And there's no longer legions of people moving into Florida. Now you got people leaving. So keep you guys, hey guys, keep your eyes on this. And Florida is not the only state that has problems with the insurance. A lot of this, the catalyst is the insurance part. People can't afford to insure these homes, and these homes are very expensive. The ones on the coast, you're looking at six, you know, five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar properties. And we're going to be talking about that moving forward. There's a lot going on, guys. I'm going to do my best to, to just kind of put this out so you guys can see it. Whenever you are stuck with the elected officials fixing issues, those issues don't get fixed right away. And I'll leave you with this. I can only see two ways of Florida getting out of this, this problem. They're going to need either a bailout from the federal government, which I don't think they're going to get. We're going to be talking about that moving forward. Or they're going to have to start taxing everyone who lives here. Why do a lot of people come to Florida? Why do people love it here? There's no state income tax. That might change. And if that changes, who's going to stay? Let me know below in the comments what you guys think. Um, anybody who knows the business, please, please put some information in that in the comment section. Um, because again, I'm learning as I go. I'm an air traffic controller who's retired. I don't know anything about this business. I'm just watching these, um, reading these articles and watching these reports on TV and listening to other folks. And I'm telling you, you guys, trust when I tell you, this is going to be the number one news story moving forward after the election. Florida is in trouble. Now, it's going to be really bad for some people. It's going to be really good for others, right? So when there's people out there losing money, Trust and believe there's people out there making money. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Appreciate it. I'm DL Saint. Peace.